hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is all about how i did my box braids at home so if you guys want to see how i did it just keep watching so for the first step i started out with fresh freshly washed clean hair and then i was going to blow dry it with a heat protectant now i like to use a very moisturizing heat protectant to kind of really give my hair more moisture and make it a little bit more heavier than usual because with box braids I want my hair to stay moisturized since my hair isn't going to be washed for a while so I take this step to ensure that my hair is very moisturized while they're in the box braids and since my hair is really really thick I take different sections of my hair to make sure I can blow dry it pretty straight you don't have to get it all the way straight just enough where you can kind of grip it very easily and it kind of smooths into the braid when you're braiding your hair and it doesn't look too much out of texture compared to the braiding hair that you're going to be using So for extra moisture, I take some 100% pure argan oil and kind of put that on my hair as well after I blow dry it just for extra moisture, extra protection because my hair can get really, really dry. So I just take this step. This step you don't have to do. You just prefer whatever oil you prefer in your hair. I suggest it's just I like my hair really moisturized and clean. So for my style, I bought six packs of hair in two different colors to ensure I was able to fill out my whole head and then I sectioned out the back to make sure I kind of had equal sections in order to get a pretty decent start. Sectioning out first helps it stay neater. Alright guys, so now I'm about to do my first braid. I'm just going to take my Mary's Edge Wax and kind of bind my root together so that it's kind of cleaner, cleaner part. And hopefully it'll be easier for the hair to grip. I'm not sure. But we're just gonna try this and see. So for each section, you're going to take a piece of hair and wrap it around your the root of your hair pretty much. So you're going to take your hair, put it around as if it's like a loop, you're looping it around. And you're going to have three sections of hair. Two of them are going to be the synthetic hair and the one is going to be your real hair. And then you're going to proceed to tighten and then start braiding. Take this first part very very slowly it could get hard to do it can be difficult but as you continue to do it in each section you're able to kind of get used to it and even kind of perfect it obviously this is my first braid it's a little loose at the roots but it wasn't loose enough where it was coming out so that was a success for me Alright, now that we're kind of at the end of the braid and you see how it's like 
my hair is still sticking out at the end like that we're just going to take a piece from this other braid so we want to start it on its own and then we're going to combine the other piece into my hair so that we can continue the braid just like that now this is my first time y'all I mean, it's kind of loose right here, but it's first time for everybody. First time for everybody. So I'm also thinking I'm not going to try to be too perfect in the back of my head because you obviously can't see it and like, but I'm not going to make it too bad because I still want to put it up in a high ponytail, but I mean, I can't, <laughs> I don't understand how people can, probably to anybody who can get the back of their head perfect because I can't. Okay, so now that I kind of see what the color's gonna look like, I think I wanna do my whole head like this. I think it's kind of a pretty color. It's like a highlight. So I had decided to do the same color all around, the mix between the burgundy brown color and the light blonde color, and just go ahead and do that all over my head. So again, here, we're gonna take my piece of hair and then the other synthetic hair, wrap it around my hair strand, and then it's gonna be the third braid. And then I'm going to take the other piece and proceed to braid as you would usually do if it was just your natural hair. It's more easier to do than explain, guys. So if you do not try it yourself, um, you won't really understand unless you're just really understanding right now but it really is that simple and it you get used to it and it works okay so i'm done with the first four hot sprays i mean i'm scared to show you the back because it's, it doesn't look good at all so um yeah i mean they're kind of loose but like not loose enough to kind of like come out. So I'm hoping the last. But like as far as the color, I'm kind of feeling the color. I'm feeling it. So I am going to finish up just the back of my head and then I will be back to show you the guy, show you guys how I did like that pattern and if it even worked out at all. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I did the whole bottom half of my hair. And I am tired. I've been doing it for almost six hours. I have eight pieces left on the top of my head. And I kinda got like a technique going on. Let me guys show let me show you guys. So I pretty much just took some of the Murray's edge wipes and I separated the parts and rolled it together. Cause the edge wipes kind of like, it holds it a lot better, you know? So I separated it all together and it's kind of clumped up so like the I don't have to do the parting as I'm doing the braiding. I already got the parting down and now I'm just doing the braiding. So. Now, I just need to do the top part of my head, and I'm going to try to do mostly blonde. Like, this is 
all the blonde I have left. But I have a whole pack of the black left. And that was that was six packs of hair that I'm about to use fully. So yeah, it was just enough. So hopefully this will be enough for the top and to really kind of show off that blonde at the top. So I'm gonna finish up. So guys, as you get to the top of your head, this is when you want to start really paying attention to the pattern because this is when your hair is going to be the most exposed. So I did a little bit neater kind of style and like parting when I went more up to the top of my head just so it looks, you know, like a professional did it and like it's not your first time, but it was actually kind of easy since I am a beginner at box braids or braiding in general. I'm not a braider. So as you get to the top, you can kind of do your own design, your own boxes, however you kind of want to do your style at the top, you do it. If you want to make them smaller, you can. If you want to make them bigger, you can. It's all about what you want it to look like at the top at the end of the day. Okay guys, so I'm finally done. This took me like 10, probably like 11 hours now to do, and I'm not even done yet. I still had to um, seal my ends by boiling them, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And also, I'm going to probably trim up some of these ends because they're not that even with each other. And some of them are really, really long, while some of them are kind of short. So I'm gonna do that. All right guys, so this is the final look of my braids that I did all night long. Um, I guess they took about, I'm gonna say 12 hours. So most of the time when you go to a hairstylist, it's gonna take like 12 to like 16 hours to do. So if you do it yourself, but like, I, this is my first time doing it, so I was kinda slow at first. So, you know, maybe as you get to, you know, doing it more and more, you'll probably speed up yourself. And I think I'll probably speed up next time because I kind of know how to section my hair and where to section it and kind of what to, you know, the Murray's beeswax that I put in my head and that will help me section it off. Now there are multiple methods. I'm going to link down a video that I watched for the multi the different methods that I wanted to use. I did the method where you just wrap the hair around the piece of hair and just braided it from there. But there are multiple other methods that you can use. I know there's different methods that different hairstylists like to use, but I just did the wrap around. But I know the rubber band method is pretty popular. That one kind of scared me off because I don't want to break off my hair because even now I feel like tension, you know, at the base of my hair on my scalp. So I think that was good enough. So, I'm really hoping these last, I don't even know if the boiling method worked on the ends because they look like they'll unravel any minute. But I'm just gonna see how long they last. So obviously, everybody completes this look with a little bit of jewels. I got this from my beauty supply store. They were like a dollar something, so. They didn't have gold, so I had to get silver. I didn't want silver, but we'll just see. And I'm just going to put these kind of everywhere in my head where I want them to kind of style it.
Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to put in my hair for now. I have a couple left, but I don't want to do it too much because <laughs> I don't want it to look kind of, you know, unorganized or whatever. So this is the final look, and I'm loving it. Like, oh, I and I think I did a pretty good job for a first timer, and I'm definitely not a braider, okay? Definitely not. So I spent like only 17, I think it was like 17.50 on six packs of hair, including the two colored and then the three, no four, yeah, the four brownish burgundy and two um, honey blonde colors. And that came up to about $7.50, $17.50 or something like that. So it's a pretty good deal for this look under $20 and doing it yourself. Even if you do do it, it only it'll only take you about the amount of time a stylist would do it. So you can save your coins, sis. I know I did because I'm broke. But I definitely did the full length of the hair. I did cut off some ends to kind of make it kind of uniform, I guess. Because I am short. I'm like 4'11", four, four, four but my husband says I'm 4'10", but I think I'm 4'11". So I'm pretty short, and it comes down to probably the middle of my butt. So yeah, they're pretty long on me. And then in the front, they come down to my waist. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video.